Hello and welcome back to GoldStockTrades.com. Today we have back here with us Jeff Pontius. Jeff is CEO of Corvus Gold. Corvus can be traded as KOR on the on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and it also can be traded as CORVF on the OTC. Thanks, Jeff, for being here with us today. Thanks, Jeb. It's great talking to you. It's been a busy August for Corvus. Today you announced that you expanded Sierra Blanca North Zone. Yesterday you announced that you've extended the Yellow Jacket High Grade gold and silver discovery. Let's focus first on, on yesterday's announcement. Tell us about the significance of ex hitting these higher grades at the North Bullfrog Project in Nevada. Yeah, they're uh, very significant for us because they occur within a very well-defined structural zone we call Yellow Jacket. And uh, we're seeing these higher grade, almost shoot type features uh, occur on a regular basis uh, almost like fingers on a hand as we go along the main zone of mineralization there. The overall grade of the zone is somewhere between a half a gram and a gram and a half. Uh, these higher grade zones certainly add to that and uh, are able for us to bring the overall grade of this area up into the one gram per ton range. Uh, now this is really important for us because this will form the starter pit for our new mine design, which we should have out at the end of this year or early first quarter of next year. Uh, that will have a dramatic impact on the overall economics of this project going forward and uh, really will have a, a real positive as far as uh, cost per ounce goes and the actual performance of the project as far as the money that it can generate. So, so we're real excited about this area. And in addition to that, we are basically evaluating only the top 150 meters at this point. Uh, these high-grade zones appear to be vectoring into what might be a real large main feeder zone at depth. Uh, we're getting the geometry on those things put together into our model, our exploration model, and we'll be in a position here within a few weeks to be able to start looking at exploration deeper into what might be a larger uh, and more productive even uh, high-grade system at depth. So it's pretty exciting for us on a geologic basis. T talk to us about the Sierra Blanca North and the discovery up there. Well, we are, we're continuing to expand the ore body to the north. We've stepped out now, uh, I think, in, uh, in, uh, in roughly about 500 meters or half a kilometer to the north. We're intercepting uh, higher-grade mineralization that's hosted by a different host rock, a uh, intrusive rock. And uh, it seems like the grades in that area are about twice what our grade is for the main pit to the south. And uh, that's a very encouraging thing for us to begin with. Uh, we're continuing to do a development drilling pattern up there, a regular grid drilling pattern, and we expect to add considerable amount of tons from that area to our mine plan. But more importantly, what we pointed out today in the news release is that some of these uh, drill holes have intersected stockwork vein mineralization uh, that looks very similar to the kind of stockwork vein mineralization that surrounds these higher grade uh, zones within the yellow jacket area. We have three different places where that's occurred within the drill holes that we've released so far. Uh, we're only talking about the first five holes that have been from an area that we'll receive in a first pass 20 drill holes. So it looks favorable that we may be able to develop other high-grade zones like Yellow Jacket in this better, what appears to be better host rock to the north. So these are important things for us. We'll be moving our core rig into this area to start to do some uh, uh, initial exploration, trying to look for those real high-grade zones that are running 5 to 10 grams a ton that would be surrounded by this lower-grade 1 gram a ton material that we've hit so far. So this is a really interesting exploration development for us. Uh, lots of stuff for us to drill in, uh, in the North Bullfrog Project. We have a lot of targets yet to come. A uh, big drill program that's, you know, about a third of the way done right now. And so uh, 
we're uh, we're pretty excited about what we're going to see come out of this project over the next four months, four or five months here. Jeff, you're one of the few juniors that are are really active in this uh, tough market environment for junior miners. So I'd like to commend you on that. Talk to us about some of the catalysts going into the third and fourth quarter, while so many other junior gold miners are kind of have kind of been paralyzed. Well, you know, we're strong believers in our major shareholders are strong believers that when you get on to a good exploration discovery, uh, pretty much we don't care what the gold market is at the time. Uh, good discoveries are good discoveries, and they need to be advanced. And we've been very successful about raising money within our key shareholders, the Tocqueville Group and the Anglo Gold Ashanti Group, uh, as well as our management group to provide funding for this for this ongoing exploration program. So we feel pretty confident confident about being able to continue to fund this. Uh, we'll be looking as we go forward at uh, greater definition on the yellow jacket zone. Uh, hopefully, likely more additional high-grade shoots that we'll come up with. Uh, we'll be looking at exploring this at depth where it looks like we could be seeing these these shoots coalesce into a main feeder system at depth, which would be very exciting for us. We'll continue to follow up and look for more yellow jacket type high grade zones to the north in North Sierra Blanca. We're testing a number of other high grade structural targets. And among all that, we're doing our development drilling, which are going to add significant tons to our overall mine plan. So when you look at the end of the year, we'll be posting a new resource. That resource will be most likely significantly different than this one and most likely higher grade. Uh, we're also going to be implementing that resource into a mine plan, and then that mine plan will then uh, uh, reflect that higher grade starter pit area, and we should see some pretty significant uh, positive changes in the overall financial performance of the project and the overall recoverable ounces we're going to get out of it. Before we conclude, Jeff, recently we've seen a pickup in some M&A activity, especially among the mid-tiers. How does Corvus's North Bullfrog project, uh, if, if, there, if you were a mid-tier or a major, what would, what would they find attractive now in this project? Well, I think uh, the project is, uh, is attractive uh, uh, within the spectrum of production companies, and the most attractive aspect of it is uh, all of the mineralization that we have in our current mine plan and we expect to add at the end of the year here is all going to be heap leachable mineralization. Uh, you're talking about very low CapEx development. We're not talking about a billion-dollar development project here. Our initial CapEx is currently projected as about $100 million. Uh, those are the kind of projects people want to get into production. They also want to put projects into production that are going to have good IRRs or internal uh, rates of return uh, for the investment they're putting in those. Our initial project that we have out there right now at $1,300 gold provides over a 20% IRR, and that's a real catalyst for a lot of people. I think when you look at the new project that we'll put online here at year-end early next year, it's going to have a significantly higher IRR for it. So this is the kind of project, simple to develop, simple to operate, low capex to get in, a company that's significantly undervalued right now, and uh, ended a, a good internal rate of return uh, on your investment. So these are the kind of assets I think a whole variety of companies would like to have. Fairly simple to develop, good jurisdiction you're in here, and uh, a great local support for the project. So, you know, it really ticks all the boxes. And uh, I think that what we're going to be adding at the end of the year is really going to make this a uh, dramatic go develop it project. So I anticipate, even though we've seen lots of interest in our project uh, over the last uh, uh, six months or so here, uh, we're going to see a heck of a lot more interest in this project uh, as we implement this new resource and this new mine plan. Well, Jeff Pontius from Corvus Gold, the symbol is KOR on the Toronto Stock Exchange and CORVF on the OTC. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Jeff.